Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, David the Beer Dad, and I'm back again for another go at a beer review. This one is a Brew Dog beer and it's from Fanzine 17. Yep, just checking that one. The last one of the Fanzine 17s and it's the Clouded Clarity, the Hazy Lager. I, am, I have done the Caramel Carousel and I have done a Double Agent. Double Agent for me was probably the one the most interesting of the three. Very um, peculiar, very interesting flavours. Um, Anyway, Cloud of Clarity, Hazy Lager, 4.2%, says so there. Best before on this one, 15th of February 19, says so there. Now, I said a few times when it comes to brew dog and lagers, I think sometimes they struggle um, making lagers. I know certainly the uh, the last lager I wasn't overly impressed with. Um, and some of the, the lagers that we've had in, in this fanzine series have been a little bit meh for me. So, Cloud of Clarity there, read the info off the old uh, fanzine card. It's say 4.2 AB, uh, ABV, IBUs is 25, OG is 1.042, malts are Pilsen and Wheat, Kettle Hops are Simcoe, Cascade, Safia and Saz, or Saz, and the Whirlpool Hops are Saz or Saz, whichever you want, whichever you want to pronounce it. So, it's the last one of the... Um, Fortnightly fancy. So let's pop a top. Let's see what we get. Well, what have we got then? For what we can what we can see. We have got a and we have got a hazy straw coloured beer. Very nice. Right at the bottom, making its way up to a, to a nice palette of yellow. Bit of carbonation of the camera can pick that up. Nice rolling carbonation from the bottom straight into what is three fingers of beautifully white, dense head. I can smell straight away from here from sort of this distance. I am um, pills there. I can smell lager. So, let's get a bit closer and see what else we can smell, eh? It does have a beautiful lager smell. Whether it's another version of something that they've already done, like the Vienna beer, the Vienna lager, I don't know. But it smells like a traditional uh, European, German, Czech, um, Eastern European beer. Smells that quite nice. Okay, so let's give it a taste. Cheers. This is better. Better for me, this one. It's got a bit more body to it. Carbonation is really soft. Really light carb. Body, light to medium. Um, it's a little bit heavier than I thought it was going to be. Um, did it say that? No. Yeah, the wheat the add the addition of wheat gives it a bit more substance. Um flavour wise. It does taste like a good well made European beer. It's got the uh, a little bit of malt, a little bit of sort of crusty white bread going on. The little tingle of spice at the end. This is possibly one of the best ones they've done. One of the best ones. I'm enjoying this. I'm not a big lager drinker. I am, as I've said, I think they've struggled before. There's a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of pepper at the back as well. Mm. It's very, very nice. There is floaters in this if the camera can pick that up let me little light out see if this can pick it up see there it's got a little bit settling on the bottom that's interesting that is much what i can say about this beer really it tastes like a well-made lager and it's a very very tasty beer And I am really, really pleased with it. 
it's a sort of um, it's de I say Pilsner, definitely Pilsner esque. Only a little bit, a bit, a bit, a little bit more body to it, and that suits me. Ice cream head. I mean, put a f flake in that for me, please. That for me is that is brilliant. That is really, really nice. Brew dog have hit a win on this. I could drink this quite happily all night if this was on draft and a brew dog bar or anywhere else I was actually I could get my hands on it. This is delicious. It's certainly better than the indie pale, which was supposed to be the lager sort of lager um craft ale crossover. For me it's a better than the lost lager as well. Um, and if we go back into sort of the Vienna, the Vienna styles that they've done and the uh, Dortmund lagers, um, it's a better than, certainly better, in my opinion, it's certainly better than them. This is a quality drink. Uh, you could make this into a, a, a regular beer. Um, I would just certainly be contemplating buying at least a four pack. You just put this in the shelves in the supermarkets uh, and it would sell. Um, so if you had this cloud of clarity, um, let me know what you think. Okay, um, I like it. I would buy it again and again if I saw it in the mainstream supermarkets. Then I would recommend to friends as well. Um, yes, if you watch it for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That if you like it and that if you don't. Oh, by the way, if you want to subscribe to this, I think you can do it on the website, the Brewdog website. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but get onto this. Get onto it. If you've had that, say if you've had that, let me know. What you think of it? I think it's great. I'll see you in the next one. Hey Leo.